Hi, I'm Charmouth the Green Dragon, and today I'm doing my first squishy makeover. Warning, frustration ahead. So, this little bunny has some color issues, which isn't that big of an issue. However, my main concerns are about this little, like, overhang. Overhang? Extra squishy? I, I don't know. I also have an issue with the mold of the squishy, specifically the hands and the placement of the ears. I also want to get rid of the feet, so this rabbit needs some help with its life choices. Or maybe I do. Doesn't matter. Let's just bring this hair into surgery. So I'm cutting the extra bit around the squishy. So I actually have four other squishies other than the one I'm currently working on in this video. All of them have this weird overhang. What am I supposed to call it? Overhang? I need a name for that. Whatever, moving on. So this time is where I cut off the feet, hands, and ears. Watch my struggle. So using a popsicle stick, I'm applying the layers of puffy paint to cover up the, these like raw surfaces, basically raw squishy surfaces or whatever. Of course, it's gonna need a lot of like smoothing and everything. So I learned a lot from this squishy specifically. One of them being that one of the lessons I learned being that I need more puffy paint, specifically thicker puff. Pu specifically thicker puffy paint, I will explain that later. The only piece I'm gluing back is the ears, as I like the ears, I they, they were just weirdly placed and I wanted them to be more like bunny ears. Uh, I'm using rubber bands to hold the ears in place and then leaving it to dry. Then I'm using puffy paint to secure the ears in place. Here we go, here we go again. Trying hard, but you want to be my friend. In a place to hide, in a one to run to. Here we go, here we go again. At this point, I'm painting on a base coat for painting on a teal which I mixed blue, green, and white puppy paint. Now that the paint has dried, I'm adding detail to the squishy. This is where I really, really suffered. The purple paint would just not stick. Like, no matter, like, if, it was a, if I used a different brush, it just would not show up on the teal. So I had to paint it on with the bottle, and I did it with the pink paint as well. I wasn't sure how it would react, considering the way the purple paint reacted to, like, being painted on. So I, that's why I did that. I also began painting on a yellow stripe around, around the squishy and its belly. Now 
Now I added details to the bunny. On the stripe, I added blue, purple, pink, and yellow dots. The purple, blue, and pink all had metallic paint mixed in, white metallic paint mixed in. I used the same colors on the belly to create a tie-dye effect, also adding in a little bit of yellow, which ended up creating a green because it was still kind of, the blue paint was still kind of wet, it, as was the pink paint, which also created an orange. I changed the color of the stripe to orange because it showed up better than yellow. I also painted the bow tie yellow and then changed it over to orange as it was, it just showed up nicer on the, t on the teal than the yellow did. It, the yellow created more of a green look to it and I really, really didn't want that. Uh, I'm currently adding details to the eyes and fixing up some of the messier details. When I was painting the details on the eyes, these little eyelash things, I actually painted a huge glob on the right eye and I have tried to like fix it up. It is a little bit darker there as it's darker paint, but it's still there. I also fixed up again the messier areas around the stripe, around the belly, and the face. So after working on this poor creature for about four to five days, it took each of these like stiffs took about at least half a day, maybe more. I wasn't sure how long it would take for the puffy paint to dry. Each one kind of varied based on how much paint was used. Like the dots dried within like half an hour, so did the eyes, but like the tie-dye bit or the stripe, which had multiple layers painted on it in order to make sure it showed up, took forever to dry. I'm happy and a little upset with the results. I've never worked with puffy paint this much, so it's a new experience. It's actually pretty fun. What I think I would do differently is to make the squishy entirely tie-dye instead of just the belly area. Using a thinner puffy paint would have made it difficult. Okay, so one of the other things I wish I used was a thicker puffy paint in order to fill up the cut areas, specifically the hands, feet, and the top of the head, also the side of the ears, which was cut and was not fully filled. I would use, I th using, <laughs> Using a thinner puffy paint made it difficult to fill up the holes and exposed squishy bits. Uh, I now have thicker puffy paint, so it probably will go better if I do this again. I do think that for doing this as like a first time job of creating a squishy, it's actually a pretty good job. I named the squishy Hope because she's hopeless. Before you go, if you enjoyed watching me suffer, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the magic world again soon. Bye!